You're listening to the 5-Minute Friday podcast episode of The Aligned Self. This is your host, Daniel Danovi. Okay, 5-Minute Friday, a short and concise podcast episode of The Aligned Self designed to leave you with a question, an idea, a strategy, a tip, a hack in order to give you greater access to your conscious awareness, evolving your conscious awareness, or give you greater mastery over your mind. Hello, friend, and welcome into this 5-Minute Friday. Today, I'd like to share with you a manifesting tip, a manifesting technique, used by and promoted by the author Neville Goddard. Now, Neville Goddard was born in 1905 and died in, the, I think, 72 And he wrote extensively on the Bible, mysticism, and world religion, and manifesting techniques, manifesting the reality that you want. So along with Neville Goddard and several other authors during those early 1900s, they were responsible for forming or developing the the ideas around new thought. But in this episode, I'm going to talk specifically about an idea that he proposed and used often as a generalized manifesting technique, and it's called, Isn't It Wonderful? Now, at the heart of Neville Goddard's teachings is the idea that you want to adopt the the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Basically, feel what it would feel like to have your manifestation present. How wonderful would it be? How amazing would it be? How incredible would it feel? So the way to begin using this is think in your mind, recall in your own experience, a time when something was gifted to you, you received something that you really appreciated, you were pleasantly surprised, and you were filled with thankfulness, gratitude. And as you think about that experience, think about that memory, make sure that you think of it from an associated point of view, as if you're looking through your eyes, feeling the feelings that you felt then, now. Feel those feelings as if they're happening right now. Where are they present in your body? What does it feel like? Is it electric? Is it dynamic? Is it light? And get as associated as possible to all the different little qualities about that feeling, about that memory. And as you do, you should feel the excitement, feel the love, feel the appreciation, feel the surprise as if you're living the experience all over again. Sometimes we recall an experience, think back, and you get the picture in your mind and say, yeah, I remember, but you can hear it in your voice. You're not completely associated to the experience. You're not connected to the experience. You're not reliving the experience. You're basically watching it like a movie. Yeah, I was there. I remember. And in that recollection, it's devoid of emotion. It's dissociated. You're looking at it as if you're looking at a picture or through a looking glass or through a window, separated. So that's the first step. Identify and recall that amazing feeling of receiving something pleasant and just that depth of appreciation, that depth of love, uh, just gratitude, just oozing out of every pore of your being. Next is you want to associate that feeling with the words, isn't it wonderful? Isn't it marvelous? Isn't it fantastic? Isn't it just amazing? The words don't necessarily matter, but you want to associate it to that feeling because in the end, it is all about generating this feeling of a wish fulfilled. Now, if you are one of those rare individuals that can't seem to connect with a memory like that, play the what if game. If I could feel complete amazement, complete marvel at something showing up in my life, what if all my wishes were fulfilled? What if I had all the money that I wanted? What if I had access to the love and relationships exactly the way I wanted it? How would it feel in my heart? How appreciative would I be? How wonderful would it be? And call up that feeling. You know you're doing it right when you can call up a positive feeling, an amazing feeling, a blessed feeling. So, okay, you have the instructions how to connect with that feeling, how to call it up in your mind, how to access it. And again, you want to zero in on where in your body do you feel it? How does it feel? 
Is it pulsating? Is it electric? Is it still? Is it emanating, radiant? Be as descriptive as you can in your mind and in your recollection and how you reference it. Talk about it in your head. And then, as you're feeling the feeling, say the words, Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it amazing? Isn't it simply fantastic? And as you do, understand that this is an anchoring process, a technique from neuro-linguistic programming, a technique taken from hypnosis, and that we form associations. Whatever is emotionally going on at any given moment, we can verbally anchor it to us, we can visually anchor it in our experience, or kinesthetically through a touch. And some of you have had the experience where someone will say something in a particular way, and it's as if they push a button and suddenly you feel all these emotions and you're back in time or angered or something like that. And some of you have also had the experience of recalling or hearing a song from your childhood or from your adolescence year, your teen years, and you're transported back in time, feeling what you felt in that moment. You can almost remember an exact moment, a day, uh, uh, sometimes driving in the car when you were listening to that song. That song came on the air and those feelings that you had at that moment were associated with it in a way that in replaying that song, hearing that song again, you're transported back in time. Sometimes it's a smell. It's a perfume that transports you back to another time. This is the, the principle of anchoring, of forming associations in your mind and body. So back to the process, feel the feelings, call those feelings up, isn't it wonderful? And say it, say it in a way that emanates that isn't it wonderful, isn't it amazing? Don't say this, don't say it like this. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it simply amazing? You want the cadence, you want the way you're saying it, and the tonality to really communicate what you're feeling. Isn't it marvelous? Isn't it fantastic? Oh my gosh. And as you're saying it, as you're saying the words, feel the feelings, feel the amazement, feel the phenomenal feelings inside you. Knowing that as you practice this, you're building a muscle, building a resource, installing a resource within you. And then stop, look away, get up, raise your hands above your head, say, oh, wow. Or wonder just how much pumpernickel you could eat. The idea behind all this is to break your state, break, you know, break the connection and get back to neutral and then play the game again. Say the words, isn't it wonderful? And again, say it with intention. Say it as if it's wonderful. Isn't it marvelous? Isn't it fantastic? And even as I'm speaking right now, I'm calling up these feelings of amazement, of joy, of, of gratitude, of appreciation. I love it when that comes up. I love it. And now, since you've made the connection, you've created the association in your mind, you've been practicing it, and you can call that feeling up at will whenever you want, just by saying the words, isn't it marvelous? Isn't it fantastic? Isn't it simply amazing? And so once you have that down, this is how you use it to manifest. You can do it in one of two ways. Actually, you can do it in three ways, three different ways. First is when you don't have anything specific that you're calling in. You just want to create yourself as a magnet to all your desires. Personally, I think this is the easiest and by far the more superior way to use this technique because there is no resistance. You're basically calling up the feeling and you're associating with the feeling of the wishes fulfilled. And this is how you use it. You say, isn't it marvelous that everything is happening now? Isn't it wonderful that all my desires are satisfied? Isn't it magical how the universe has my back, how my wishes are always fulfilled? Isn't it amazing? Isn't it wonderful? Just how life is showing up. I couldn't ask for anything better. Isn't it wonderful? Just how abundance flows to me each and every day. Isn't it marvelous how connected I am to the universe? Isn't it wonderful that all my wishes are fulfilled? This is the generic aspect. It's generalized. It's not very specific. There's no resistance. And you might be asking, how long do I do this for? 
I'm suggesting you do this for a minimum of a minute straight, over and over and over again. Recall that feeling up and just experience it. Dive deep into it. Immerse yourself in it to as great a degree as you can handle. Then break your state. Look away, get up, dance around, turn around. Just do anything different than you were doing to break the state and then begin again. Start again. Practice again for a complete minute. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it marvelous? And here is the second way to use this, to talk about getting something specific. Isn't it wonderful that today I received $10,000? Simply amazing. I'm pleasantly surprised. I just love the fact that the universe has my back. Isn't it wonderful that money flows to me in the most unexpected ways? I love the fact that money flows to me in large and small amounts. Constant flow, ever increasing. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it wonderful how abundant I am? Or we can change the tact a little bit and talk about relationships. Isn't it wonderful how much love is expressed in my relationships with my loved ones? Isn't it amazing how much love is showered upon me? Isn't it simply incredible how intimately connected I am with my partner? You can say it any way that you want. Talk about anything that you want in the most incredible, amazing way. Again, associate with the feelings that that would bring up. And the feeling is all important. The words don't really matter. So whatever feeling you're left with, you want it to be amazing. You want it to be wonderful. And if it's not, stop doing that. Take a different approach. You're you're actually identifying some resistance in your body, some resistance in your mind. So go back to the general statement. But again, when you're talking about attracting something specific and using the isn't it wonderful technique, you want to make sure that the feeling you call up is the feeling of the wish fulfilled. How would it feel to receive $10,000 unexpectedly? And if $10,000 seems like over the moon kind of impossible, chunk it down to maybe $5,000 or $2,500 or an extra $1,000 unexpectedly arriving in your possession. We want to chunk it down to a size to an amount that feels believable, feels doable. What you want to avoid is the BS response that your mind might come up or the feeling that, oh, that's impossible. But it can be larger than you can imagine, more amazing than you can imagine. Isn't it amazing that this huge amount of money showed up in my lap today? Isn't it incredible that a million dollars ended up in my bank account? I would have never guessed it. Remember, you don't need to know how this is going to show up. You don't need to have it all figured out or even for it to be plausible. Just be able to associate with the feeling. What would it feel like for a million dollars to show up in your life? Isn't it amazing that I now have a million dollars? I think it's pretty incredible. And again, talking about it as if it happened right now, already happened, and you're just in the full appreciation and immersing in that feeling of a wish fulfilled. And the third way to do this is to combine both processes. Begin talking in general terms, and then as you ramp up the feeling, as you can connect with the feeling in easier and easier ways, then start adding specifics. Start talking about money. Start talking about love. Start talking about clients coming to you. Just you're attracted like you're this magnet. I, isn't it wonderful how magnetic my personality is? Isn't it wonderful on how easily I attract new business? Isn't it wonderful? The next question is, when do I do this? When should I do this? Well, follow your heart. You can do it in the morning. You can do it looking in the mirror. You can do it just before you fall asleep. Now, Neville Goddard suggested that you do it just before you fall asleep or as you're falling asleep to utilize the process of programming your mind, programming your dreams. Now, oftentimes the feeling state that you go to bed with is the feeling state that you arise with. Now, before I let you go, I want to give you one helpful hint. And if it feels awkward doing this, that's okay. That's good. Keep at it. Keep practicing. Uh, And something that would assist you is in writing things down writing statements down to where you're not trapped or stumbling over in your head. You can read them aloud and read them with emotion. Read them as if you feel it. 
The feeling is so important. Remember, it's not the words, but the feeling that is called up. The second hint that I want to give you is originally I said, do it for at least a minute and then stop, break your state and start again. You want to build up to about five minutes, five to 10 minutes is all you really need to do. And the next helpful hint, the next practice I want you to put in place is do it as soon as possible. Put this in practice, put it to the test right away. And I absolutely suggest you start out using the generalized form, just saying, isn't it wonderful that all my desires are fulfilled? Isn't it amazing how the universe conspires in my behalf? Isn't it simply fantastic how much abundance I have access to? And you don't have to come up with something new every time you utter it. You can say the same thing over and over and over again, as long as you can imbibe the feeling that feeling state of having the wish fulfilled. And I don't know if you can feel the energy, but just in me talking about this, I'm getting more and more energized. My vibe is going higher and higher. I absolutely love it. The last hint I have for you is adopt the feeling once you're done of releasing it. You want to invite curiosity, invite anticipation as if, Christmas is right around the corner, as if your birthday is right around the corner, and you know that you're going to receive something amazing, something fantastic, but you have no idea what it is, no real conception of all the bounty that's coming your way. You know it's going to be amazing. You know it's going to be fun, but it's right around the corner, and it's coming, it's happening, and you can feel the anticipation. You can feel the connectedness the universe will deliver. So that's it, a simple manifesting technique that you should and must, you have to, put it into practice today. Until next time, this is your friend and host, Daniel Danovi, urging you to follow your bliss, live your life from inner signals, be inner directed as you live the epic adventure.